Hello, I'm Margaret Farnsworth. Welcome to this instructional video. Aspire Fertility is pleased that you selected us to help you create your family. This video was developed with your safety in mind. Before you begin, be sure to have all of the following items. One, multi-dose vial of progesterone and oil, 10 milliliters or 10 cc's. One syringe, one long thin needle for injection, usually 22 gauge, one and a half inch. One needle for drawing up the medication, usually 18 gauge or one and a half inches. Alcohol swabs, sterile gauze, and a safety container. If using the vial for the first time, use your thumb to flip the protective plastic cap off the vial of progesterone and oil. Wipe the top of the vial with an alcohol swab each time you draw progesterone from the vial. Remove the wrapping from the syringe. Some kits include the drawing needle already attached, while others are separate. If separate, attach the 18 gauge 1.5 inch drawing needle with a twisting motion. Carefully pull or twist off the needle cap. Draw air into the syringe by pulling back the plunger to the milliliter marking that you have been instructed to take. Place the vial of progesterone on a hard, flat surface. Carefully insert the needle through the marked center circle on the top of the rubber stopper into the vial. Gently press on the syringe plunger. This will allow the air to enter the vial, which makes withdrawing the solution easier. Without removing the needle, Invert the vial and slowly pull back the needle as far as needed to withdraw the milliliter dose of progesterone that you have been prescribed. Make sure the tip of the needle remains in the liquid by slowly backing the needle out of the vial as you draw the solution. You will only be using a portion of the medication for each injection, not the entire vial. Remove the needle and the syringe from the vial. Recap the needle and remove the needle by twisting it off the syringe. Now let's put on a thinner needle for the injection. Discard the used needle in your safety container. Remove the wrapping from the other needle for administration. Twist the administration needle onto the syringe. Carefully pull or twist off the protective needle cap. To remove any air bubbles in the syringe, point the needle upward and gently tap on the syringe. When all bubbles have risen to the top, slightly press the plunger until a small drop of solution appears at the top of the needle. Choose an injection site as directed by your healthcare provider. Common sites for intramuscular injections include the hip, upper outer quadrant of the buttocks, and outer area of the mid thigh. Clean the injection site with an alcohol swab and allow to air dry. You should alternate injection sites each day. Hold the syringe in your hand like a pen or pencil. Use the thumb and index finger of your other hand to gently spread the skin at the injection site. Quickly insert the entire length of the needle at a 90 degree angle. Hold the syringe in your other hand and very gently pull back on the plunger just a bit to check for blood. Do not pull forcefully back on the plunger. If there is blood, you will need to change the needle and start the injection again at a different injection site. This does not happen very often and does not indicate a problem. If there is no blood, push the plunger in a slow, steady motion until all of the medication is injected. Gently withdraw the needle and apply pressure to the injection site with a sterile gauze pad. If needed, apply a Band-Aid. Once your injection is complete, dispose of the used needle and syringe in your safety container. 